Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Gentech PC product showcase. In today's video, we're going to be going over the full details for the brand new MSI GS65 Stealth. This brand new model is going to be predominantly featuring the new RTX 2080 from Nvidia. This is the Max-Q edition, which is specific for laptops, so they've toned it down so that it uses less power and produces less heat. But the important thing is, how does the laptop perform with that reduction for the laptop form factor? So stay tuned in the review as we go through and we'll find out. So as per usual in our full length feature reviews, we'll start things off with our unboxing. Now, as you can see, the MSI GS65 Stealth comes in a fairly small box. And that's because even though this is featuring one of the most high-end video cards currently out there, this is an economical laptop that takes a compromise between size, weight, and power. In fact, because the bezels are so thin around the screen, even though this is a traditional 15.6 inch diagonal measurement, it carries more like a 14 inch laptop. So that means the big question is going to be with a reduction in size, how's the performance going to measure up? And of course, we'll get to those benchmarks a little bit later on in the review and answer those questions for you. So here we are upon the first sight of the laptop. And if this was something you just saw for the first time, you'd very much think it's just a business grade laptop made for running your PowerPoints and your word processing. It's very surprising to see this is a full blown gaming laptop and capable of being a desktop replacement. So as we finish digging out all the accessories out of the box, the very next thing we get to is going to be a self-contained box that has our power adapter. So here's our power cable, and this is going to be different depending on your region. So this is the North America power supply. And here's our power adapter itself. So here's a close up, and we're going to give you the voltage and amperage. So here from the close up, you can see that it has a 230 watt power adapter. And that's going to be pretty much it for the unboxing. So let's move on. So here we are with our laptop powered on for the first time, and we've got that cleaning cloth that's included, so make sure you hold on to that. And we'll start our 360 degree tour of everything, including our connectivity. So this first spin is just to kind of show off the form factor of the laptop so you can appreciate how thin this is. Again, it looks like a business class laptop. Super thin screen and even a very thin body on the laptop. You can see the short bezels around the screen, therefore making the overall size of the laptop also very portable. So as we zoom in for a closer look at our interfaces, we start with the right hand side, USB 3, a Thunderbolt 3 port, mini display port, HDMI, and where our power cable goes. Following that, we just have a vent there for the intake of the cooling system with our exhaust vents to the rear. Now on the left hand side, we have our Kensington lock port, the RJ45 port for networking, two more USB 3 ports, and our 3.5 millimeter connections for headphones and a microphone. So overall, that leaves us with a fairly wide array of connectivity for this laptop. So the outside stuff is done. Let's take a look at what's on the inside here. So we have a fairly compact chiclet style keyboard with the RGB LED backlighting. One of the new features here is this very large oversized touchpad so that makes using just a touchpad for navigation a little bit easier. It does not have separate left and right click buttons. Those are integrated into the touchpad. Now over here in the bottom right hand corner, we have the sticker that shows us some of the features built into this laptop. Now outside of the standard stuff like the Dyn Audio speakers and the SteelSeries keyboard, we also noticed that we have a 144 hertz refresh rate on our monitor. So that's going to be something very nice to have, especially if you're a high demand gamer. Also, for those who might have been wondering about the size of the touchpad, the horizontal distance from edge to edge is five and a half inches. And as for the bezels, if you measure them up, they're at less than a quarter inch thick. So that, of course, gives us a much smaller laptop. And despite the small bezel, we still fit in our HD webcam, microphones, and the really great 144 hertz screen technology. So a moment of silence to take one more look at this laptop before we move into the next section of our review, where we'll get into our benchmarks. So here we are with our scale. You've heard us talk about the weights. So let's show it to you. Only four pounds and six ounces if you choose to carry the laptop by itself.
Now, if you're someone who doesn't like to travel with only your laptop and you also include your power adapter, that only brings you up to six pounds and five ounces of carry weight. That should be a fairly reasonable weight for just about anybody, making it now accessible to have a really powerful laptop anywhere you go. So we've accurately measured the weight of the laptop, but let's also make sure we show you the size. Now the rear of the laptop is less than one inch in total height, including the standoffs on the bottom. The front of the laptop, very close to the same. So with such a thin laptop, you can't get that really big wedge shape because that would make it bigger overall. So now it's time for us to move into the device manager and show you what kind of hardware we have. Now, of course, we have the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Max-Q. So that's the laptop version of the highest end card NVIDIA currently makes. We're pairing that with a Core i7-8750H for the CPU. On our screen, here's the ID for you if you'd like to look that up. And of course, it has a 144 hertz refresh rate at a 1080p resolution. So here we are, we're about to start our benchmarks. And the first thing we want to do is check in with our ambient temperatures as they are currently. So at rest, the laptop has less than 60 degrees Celsius on our CPU, about 55 degrees Celsius on average. And the GPU is currently running 43 degrees Celsius. So at rest, the laptop's doing a very good job of keeping the temperatures under control. So if you are going to use this laptop as a business class laptop and have it in meetings, one of the things that's going to be important to you is how loud is it? So here we are at rest, only about 25 decibels. Now keep in mind these numbers are worst case scenario. We have a microphone right next to the exhaust. So the next thing for us to do is to put the system under load and check those numbers again. We're currently running 3D Mark, which is a high demand task. Anything outside of gaming or perhaps some kind of CPU rendering would never get your fans to run this fast. Even at that level of load, one fan is running about 40 decibels and the other one is still 26. So you can see that it has an asynchronous cooling system. It knows how to intelligently use each fan as needed. So 3D Mark Firestrike has finished and it's coming back with a score of 16,236, which is a super great score for this kind of a laptop. Now, how did it handle the load? Our CPU got up to about 90 degrees Celsius, which is fairly warm, but not within the realm of unmanageable. Now our GPU got up to 67 degrees Celsius and that's a very great GPU temperature. Now we're not done yet. We still have a couple more benchmarks to run. So we'll run Cinebench R15. And once that benchmark has finished, it's coming back with about 91 frames per second, which is a super impressive score as well. So as we can see so far, we're seeing the GS65 come in with really great performance numbers, especially considering the size and weight of this laptop. This really makes it a great balance between having the power of a desktop and the portability of a laptop all in one package. Now the next measurement that's coming up is going to be the sound system. So with our benchmarks completed, it's time for us to move into the final part of our review, which is going to be the disassembly. 
So there's going to be many different screws to remove and we'll go ahead and skip ahead for that and show you what it looks like. A few moments later. So here you can see it was many different screws of many different sizes. So if you do ever intend to take your laptop apart, be very careful to track what came from where. Now with that out of the way, we can take the bottom panel off and get a first look on the inside. So if you are expecting to see a whole lot of cool stuff, you're really not going to. The way that these smaller, thinner laptops are built, there's just not a whole lot to see. In fact, most of what we have here is our very large battery, and it's responsible for our eight hour runtime. Now, of course, we could take the laptop apart further, and we're going to go ahead and do that. With our protective cover out of the way, we expose some of the motherboard, and we get a first look at some of the ribbon cables and fans. As you can see, everything is not really exposed here. It's all on the other side of the motherboard, which means further disassembly is required. So we have some more pieces and parts taken out of the way to let us get a little bit deeper into the system. And this is a great time to remind you that we can do this for you. On your brand new laptop, taking it apart and breaking it wouldn't be a very fun thing to do. So if you choose to upgrade anything on your system, you can do that during the checkout process. We'll handle the upgrades for you and keep everything covered under your warranty. Now, once we get to this side of the laptop, we can see we have our RAM and our M2 SSD. There isn't really a whole lot here as far as what can be upgraded outside of an extra piece of RAM. So we've gone this far and we're not gonna stop yet. The next thing to do is actually take off the entire cooling system and that's gonna expose our GPU and our CPU. So you can now see the RTX 2080 Max-Q edition is dramatically different than the full-size version like in the GT75. In summary, however, the MSI GS65 Stealth is going to be a laptop that fits a lot more people. It's very portable, it has great battery life, and it has great performance, so it comes together to be a very accessible package. So if you think the GS65 Stealth might be right for you, or you just want to get a little bit more information, it's time to go take the next step, which is go to the video description and find the product page link. There we have the full system specs and the current pricing and availability. If you have any questions that the video itself didn't answer for you and you'd like to get those answered, feel free to post them down in the comment section down below and we'll get them answered for you. And of course, as always, if you need some one-on-one -on -one help, feel free to contact us by phone or email and we'll be sure to help you out. So thank you very much for watching our review video for the MSI GS65 Stealth. And we just want to remind everybody once again, this was Gentech PC, and we'll see you next time.